Hi dear folks, today we are going to learn the linear programming simplex method. The programming simplex method. So there are seven steps we will follow in general to achieve the optimal solution. So optimal solution is our objective and for that we may have six steps or more. But usually, in a standard manner, we go into the six steps. So, steps to solve linear programming problem using sim simplex method. First step is to convert the problem, that is a mathematical problem, or you may call linear programming problem, to standard form. To standard form. First, step is to convert the problem into standard form second step that is set up the initial simplex tableau so when we say simplex tableau it is the first format of the matrix we will develop to solve the problem so initial tableau is our first second step Step three, identify the entering and leaving the variables. So, so entering and leaving variables is our step three. Step four, pivot to update the tableau. Pivot is the key element and with the key element, we update the tableau and we solve it. Step five, Identify the entering and leaving variable that is same you see Then pivot to update the tableau again we, we have to pivot to update the tableau and If the condition is not fulfilled we have to Again identify the entering and leaving variables and again, pivot to update the tableau until we get the optimal solution. So these are the steps which we need to follow to solve the simplex method in a programming problem. Okay, let's begin with the first question we have. Solve the problem by simplex method. It is it is the maximization problem z equals to 3x plus 5x2 subject to our conditions are 2x1 plus 3x2 less than equals to 8 x1 plus 2x2 less than equals to 5 and this condition must always be there in any linear programming problem that x1 and x2 the decision variables must not be less than and equals to zero so what they has to be they have has to be greater than and equals to zero it has to be greater than and equals to zero to so let's start with the first step step one step one to convert it to standard form, standard form, introduce slack variables for the standard for converting this linear programming problem, or you, you may also call it mathematical model. Mathematical mathematical model. Okay, it is also called linear programming. Model. Okay, it is also called. 
So it is a linear programming model. So what we are going to do, we are converting it to the standard form. This is the first step of the simplex method. It's the first step of the simplex method. So first we have, what we have to do, we have to introduce slack variables. We have to introduce slack variable with the symbol S. We have to introduce slack variables to convert inequalities into equalities to convert inequalities into equalities. So, what do we mean by variables? You see, we already are using x1, x2. These are the decision variables. x1 is uh, first decision variables, decision variable. First decision variable x2 is the x2 is the second decision variable. So you see another variable we are going to introduce that that will be x and that will be s. The first variable is x1 x2, these both are the decision variables. And the third variable we are going to introduce is S. And why we are introducing to convert the inequalities of the constraints into equalities. Okay, let's move ahead. So you see over here, 2x1 plus 3x2 plus, you may write it 1 or not, but 1 is the coefficient, plus 0s2 equals to 8. So select variable S1 is for the first constraint. Slack variable, slack variable S1 for the first constraint, for the first constraint. Now, let's take the second constraint that is x1 plus 2x2 0s1 plus s2. So its coefficient is 1, so we don't write 1 for that matter. So you see, slack variable 2, slack variable 2 for the second constraint. So you see for the first constraint, for the first constraint we use S1. You see slack variable S1 for the first constraint. Constraint 1 was here. Constraint 2 was here. For the second constraint we introduce or we introduce the variable S2. So when you introduce a single variable in any constraint, the other variable, slack variable, which we are using, has to be zero. Okay? So if there are three, three constraints, so it has to be, it has to go up till S3 with the same, with the same way. We'll be discussing another 
and our other questions. Okay, let's move ahead. So the objective function would be the objective function would be set equals to 3x1 plus 5x2 plus 0s1 plus 0s2. Okay. So this is uh, the standard form. First step, we are about to complete it. It is actually done, but we are going to uh, remove the 0s2 from here. Okay, and 0s1 from here, and 0s1, and 0s2 from here. Okay, so this we will be doing. So, you see, we introduced the s1, s2 with the coefficient of 0. Because, you see, we are not, we are not, increasing any variable decision variable in the objective function instead we are just using the slack variable to solve the problem okay let's move ahead now we just completed finish it up therefore or thus thus the linear programming problem in standard yeah this you need to remember in a standard form in a standard form is in a standard form is maximize z three x one plus five x two. So you see both slack variables with the zero coefficient are removed from here because it I, I just wrote to make you understand what we are doing in the background subject to the constraints in the standard form are 2x1 plus 3x2 plus s1 because S2 we are not about to write because of its coefficient. I was just making you understand by writing zero coefficient S2. So the next constraint would be X1 plus 2X2 plus S2 equals to 5. So you see I have not written 0 s1 over here. Why? Because there is no need. It is implicit. It is implicit. We know that both constraints has s1 plus s2. So this constraint also has s2 and this constraint also has s1 in terms with the 0 coefficient. So we don't write it. Okay, lastly just to complete the standard form x1 x2 s1 s2 all has to be greater and equals to zero so you see we have converted the linear programming problem or model into the standard form so this is the 
standard form. This is the first step we are done with. We are done with the step one.